The Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has stated that the agreement to be paid through the Integrated Payroll and Personal Information System, IPPIS, was an interim agreement. The president of the union, Professor Emmanuel Osodeke, stated this during a meeting with the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Fem Gajabi Amila, and the Accountant General for the Federation, Sylvia Okoliabo. According to the president of the union, the interim agreement on IPPIS was due to the fact that it cannot accommodate the union peculiarities demand. Professor Osodeke assured that the union would revert to its demand to be paid through the University Transparency and Accountability Solution, UTAS, and that what the union agreed on was UTAS as IPPIS was a temporary measure. There is no way IPs can represent the university. It just measured TSA. Today, sir, you can talk with VCs of universities, the Unilag. The greatest problem universities have today in funding is this TSA. In those days, Unilag have one of the best investments all over the world. They invest money and make profits. But no university can invest again because of the TSA. And that is distorting the funding of those big universities that were... That were I think we agreed. One of our agreements was on the amendment to NUC, right? So that area will also be accommodated. So, yeah. I'm trying to say this so that we will look at this, that this thing that the, the, our foreign, so-called foreign partner tell us to do. They don't do it in their country. They don't. But they tell us, go and do it. So TSA has not... So, actually, and when we were on strike, then we did agree with the government. In an agreement, like, go, this peculiar university, let some of the fund in university be allowed university to be invested and make profit. We will look for how to solve this problem once and for all. IPs have not solved problem. It has created more problem. That you can, if, you, if, you, if you want to challenge yourself, you are, you are the speaker. Check the wage bill before IPs were produced. Check the wage bill now. <clears throat> Check the recruitment procedure before IPs were produced. Universities. Check the recruitment. Sorry, well, I would say that we are willing and we are set up our team. Anytime you are willing, yeah. you will be willing to meet as an interim measure because it will not solve the problem. All right. Also, the case said the union had called up the strike based on trust and that the country's education was in their need of human resources. The Accountant General of the Federation, Sylvia Okodiabo, called for a comprehensive peculiarities list of ASU and assured that in three months the issues would be cleared. He said, contrary to insinuations by ASU, I PPIS was designed locally by Oracle and remained the best at the moment and that whatever agreement it had with Oracle was a normal agreement. Let's also stop going into this whole argument that uh, IPPIS is a foreign software. No, it is not. It is locally designed. Okay, it is done by Soft Alliance Nigeria Limited. They are Nigerians. So I don't know where this argument is coming from. Okay, so, so one last point, Mr. Speaker. Okay, now all of these arguments behind. Now, ASU and your leadership and your members, I'm begging you and pleading with you, please come over. If now we are unable to do it, if when we stand and then we are unable, then come back and report to them that we can do it. But for now, please allow this process to continue so that we can put this thing behind us. It has lingered for too long. The Speaker of the House, Honorable Femme Jabea Mila, said it was up to ASU to submit its peculiarities to the Office of the Accountant General of the Federation so that the issue could be addressed immediately. On the issue of funding, the Speaker said the union's fear had been addressed in the budget as about 500 billion naira was included for ASU in the budget. The Speaker, however, demanded for a timeline that would be acceptable to ASU to accommodate the peculiarities of ASU on the IPPIS. He has said that it will take three months, so by January, February, everything will be done and dusted. Um, if that's acceptable, your team, you can tell us the date maybe by first week in November or even tomorrow, if you're ready, when your team can meet with them. Uh, uh, the chairman education will be there. And let us um, agree and uh, move forward. So what, you, what you've read out is exactly, is exactly what we have agreed and what we're doing. Jabi Amila said the House would be having a summit on the universities with critical stakeholders next month and that all the issues raised by ASU as to funding were slated to be addressed for a long-term solution. Annie T. Patrick, Co. TV News, Abuja.